As I said earlier, I am not planning to demo every single adjustment layer available in Photoshop. After following along with my demos for solid fill, gradient, vibrance, and black and white, etc. adjustments, you should have a skill set to play around with and experiment with the adjustment layers I did not cover today. They include photo filter, channel mixer, color lookup, invert, posterize, threshold, and selective color. I also have not yet demoed how to create a gradient map, but I will do so before the end of this lecture. We will specifically avoid talking about type and vector art as much as possible until lesson 18, but there are two techniques directly relating to adjustment layers that should be discussed. They give users a fun option for combining text and images so that the text becomes more readable. Fun fact, readability directly relates to your choices as the designer. Did you choose a color combo, typeface, and size that can be read easily together? Did your choices make it so that the text can't be read? Legibility, on the other hand, refers to how quickly the typeface itself can be read or distinguished. How quickly can you tell that a K is a K or a J is a J? You as a designer cannot affect uh, how quickly each character can be distinguished based on legibility, but you can affect which typefaces you choose to use in your project and how you apply them to the page. So let's first talk about screening back layers and type. The steps needed to screen back type, or sorry, screen back layers include, first, open an image. Second, we'll use the type tool to add a new text layer. To use the type tool, you're going to select the type tool and then click the workspace. If you're feeling adventurous, you can use the options bar at the top of your screen to change the typeface, size, and color. Then, apply a levels adjustment layer to the original image layer, not the text layer. Reduce contrast in the image by moving the shadows output slider to the right, and lighten the midtone values by moving the midtone slider to the right or to the left until you get the, the um, the density or the contrast that you're looking for for your particular project. By doing this, I can now read the words Bryce Canyon National Park more easily. I probably still have some work to do though. A different text color or typeface may be an even better solution than lowering the background by itself. Here are a few more examples of screen backed images that make it easier to read text placed over the image. As you can see from the original versions, it was very difficult to read the text, but now that the background has been lowered via a levels adjustment, you can see it more easily. 